Okay, this is section uh, 16.3, the speed of waves on strings. It should be a short section, so let's share the uh, uh, kind of, uh, well, I was going to say math intensive, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, uh, you, send a, you send a pulse down a string. Uh, now, you can, they talk about two ways to look at this from the inertial frame, but we're going to look at it from its own frame of reference. Um, and so if we look at that, we're going to look at the, the force, um, is equal to, you can see the tension in the string, uh, the blue lines, that's the, the tension in the string. It's two T, two T sine theta. Well, for small angle, uh, uh, for small angles, we can use the, uh, small angle of prop approximation where sine theta is approximately equal to theta and that works uh, I forget around 10 degrees it starts uh, breaking down but for small degrees uh, 2t sine theta is approximately 2 2t theta um, so the mass uh, mu is the the uh, mass density um, uh, per unit length so the mass is equal to, to the mu, the mass density times the delta F, F, S, the, the portion of the string. And that's equal to uh, two mu R theta. If you look at the diagram, you'll see that, that delta S is equal to two R theta. Uh, the, uh, all right, so the force is mass times acceleration. Well, what is the acceleration? It's the centripetal acceleration that's pulling the string back down, which is V squared over r uh, so uh, the force uh, from that top that top equation is 2t theta and the uh, mass is 2 mu r theta and the velocity is v squared over r and you can see the twos cancel uh, the theta cancels uh, the r's cancel uh, so all you're left with is the tension um, equals mu v squared so that gives us that the uh, uh, the velocity squared is t uh, divided by uh, u mu. I'm sorry. Uh, so v, if v squared is equal to t divided by mu, then v is equal to the square root of t divided by mu. So what does that mean? The the let's think of a guitar string. Uh, the velocity uh, will get greater. Um, you can hear it, the pitch will get higher when you tighten the tension on like a guitar string. And let's, let's say, let's think of uh, uh, the mass density. If you have a very thin string, you get a high pitch. If you have a thicker string, like a, the bass string, it's, it's very thick. It's a high mass density. So the velocity is equal to the square root of the tension. Uh, in the string and uh, divided by the the mass density. Uh, so if you want the velocity um, to go up, you you can either increase the tension. It, the velocity will uh, be proportional uh, to if, if the tension goes up, the velocity will go up. If the uh, mass density goes up, the velocity will go down. Consequently, if the velocity if the mass density goes down, the velocity will go up if it's lighter. Now let's look at this question. Suppose, uh, suppose you create a pulse by moving the free end of a taut string up and down once with your hand beginning at t equals zero. The string is attached to it at its other end to a distant wall. The pulse reaches the wall at time t. Which of the following actions taken by itself decreases the time interval we we <laughs> required for the pulse to reach the wall. More than one choice may be correct. Now let's go back. Um, I already showed you the answer. Uh, but V, the velocity is equal to the square root of the tension in the string uh, divided by the mass density. So the tension goes up, the velocity goes up, and it'll it'll arrive quicker if the uh, the mu the unit mass density goes down the velocity goes up and it'll arrive quicker so the answer is use a lighter string mu decreasing of the same length and under the same tension or 
using a string of the same linear mass density, but under increased tension. You increase the tension, the velocity will get faster. If you decrease, uh, if you go to a lighter string, the velocity will get faster. Both of those will uh, mean that you can get there quicker. And that's it for, uh, for this section. Should be a short little video.